Hello everybody. Welcome to our tool webinar. In this session, I'd like to go through some of the core functionality of our test data governance and accessibility solution called DataView, a solution which promotes dev test productivity through the provision of self-service capabilities like data requirements management, data rapid mining, and data bookings. So first of all, we go to the login page and enter our details. On logging in, the first thing we see is the home dashboard. The home dashboard shows us a few things. On the left-hand side, I can see which end-to-end -end environments DataView is connected to. In the center frame, I can see all data currently reserved by myself, that is, booked by myself, which includes the data set ID, the customer ID, in other words, the customer this booking is related to, the specific environment the booking is associated with, for example, UAT, project and team details, and link test cases. On the top right-hand side, I get an executive view of my data booking behavior. In other words, the percentage of data booked and linked back to test cases, which is broken down by test environment. And on the bottom right-hand side, I have a notification window which advises me of any recent data activity and or upcoming events that I should be aware of. For example, a new data load or a weekly batch run, which ultimately promotes change transparency and avoids unexpected disruptions or outages. Okay, so probably the most important capability of DataView is the concept of providing the developers and testers with windows to their data, windows that they can understand. The ability to search for fit for purpose data, and the ability to reserve data. Within ecosystem, this is achieved through the data view tab. Going to the data view tab, we see a few things. On the left, we see the views or windows available. Note that these views are broken down by the relevant environment they are pointing at. And in the main section, we can see the current contents of the view selected. Dependent on your needs, Different views can be configured to show different things. For example, I am currently looking at the master customer view inside my SIT environment. This particular example would be useful if I was trying to identify retail banking customers. And it allows us to identify key information like customer name, customer gender, and current portfolio of products. In other words, mortgages, loans, cards, and savings accounts. Alternatively, I might be interested in different information. For example, I might be interested in identifying card numbers, or perhaps customer age. Ultimately, the view structure and information displayed is specific to your organization. In a real-world situation, all sorts of views might be created. Views may be created to support your overarching enterprise, specific teams, business units, and or specific projects. And eventually, aim to make the developers and testers more productive by information and data upskilling and promoting the use of fit-for-purpose data in support of dev test activities. Okay, how does one use these views? Step 1. Select the view you're interested in. For example, I am writing a test case for a retail banking customer, so I will choose the master customer view. Note that this view is looking at over 140,000 free customer records inside the SIT environment. FYI, if I wanted to look at booked records, then I'd select the Booked Items button. Step 2. Define your data search criteria. We can then use the View's Sort and Filter functions to search for specific customers. For example, find a customer that is male, has exactly two mortgages, has exactly one term deposit, has one or more Visa cards. You will notice as we apply these criteria that the number of matching customers reduced. Note, at this point, I could also export the information and send it out to relevant parties. For example, my test automation team. And finally, step three, select and then reserve the data you want to use. In this case, you can select any of the matching customers. You then select book item. You then enter the relevant tracking information that is, the associated test case ID, assuming there is one, the project name, the project that wants to use this data, the team name, the team that wants to use this data, and the test environment, 
or environments. And once it has been submitted, you'll notice that the data set disappears. The data has disappeared as it is no longer classified as a free item, as it belongs to you. And as such, you will now find it back in your homepage under My Booked Items. In addition to rapid mining and data bookings, which are achieved via the Data View tab, the Data View product also comes with a number of other enablers that will simplify and streamline your day-to-day -day test data activities. This includes a requirement register, which allows dev testers to proactively and centrally register more test data needs. For example, if I am unable to find a Seabell customer under 25, I might request it is created. An activity register, which allows those responsible for environment and data management to communicate any underlying changes or activities that the dev test community should be aware of. Both of these tabs are very much about promoting transparency and collaboration, a usage analytics area, so we can review project, team, user, and individual test case behavior. For example, which projects are using the most data, or which teams are not linking to test cases. And finally, there is a TDM orchestration area, an area that allows data engineers and dev testers to execute automation that has been pre-approved and made available to them. For example, as a test manager, I may have the ability to extract data, transform data, or load data. Ultimately, this orchestration area allows engineers and dev testers to self-service their own data needs, both real-time and scheduled, and this results in less delays and less dependencies on other teams and subject matter experts. Okay. That's all I'm going to cover today. Thank you for your time. To recap, our data view solution is all about 1. Data transparency through creating windows to your data, windows that developers and testers understand. 2. Rapid data mining through advanced filtering and search facilities. 3. Data contention avoidance through booking functions. 4. Data usage analytics. And 5 promotion of data automation through a data orchestration portal. By improving in each of these areas, you will inevitably promote better development and test productivity and reduce your overall IT service and storage spend, which ultimately translates to a compelling return on investment.